What's up guys? Hey! Welcome back to Bruce Brothers Garage. This week we're gonna show him the shop. Yeah, and we're gonna button up the Cayman and get it out of his garage so his wife can start parking in there. Obviously you can tell it's cooled down a little bit here in Ohio. It's cold. Yeah. Stay tuned. So as you can see, we said we ran out of room. We weren't lying. And this is why we need to find another space. So right now, we're going to go ahead and get the wheels, tires, tie up the axles, tie up, zip tie up some of the power steering lines, get this thing on the ground, get it rolled out, and then I think uh, in a week or two, we're going to trailer this thing over to the new shop. So let's get started. There's no battery in the car, so to get, one, the key out of the ignition, and two, the windows rolled up so this thing can sit outside, we've got to get some power. So what we're going to do is take off the fuse panel cover, and inside there, there's a lead that you can hook up a battery jumper to, and that's going to give us enough power to roll up the windows, get the key out of the ignition, hopefully. All right, let's do it. All right, so this little red uh, square here shows a picture of the car with the hood. Pull that guy out, all right? and then there's contacts on both sides of that. I'm gonna take the negative, I'm gonna put it to the ground. There's a bolt, seat bolt right here. I'm gonna take the positive, I'm gonna put it on the lead. And there we go. We got power, let's see if we got enough to get this thing going. And we don't. Uh-oh, got enough to pull the key out. Is this thing dead maybe? There's lights on the side. Be dead. Dead. So what you're saying is a jumper pack isn't any good if it doesn't have any power? That's what I'm saying. We gotta put the battery back in. Yep. Battery's back in and we have enough power. So here's our next problem. As you can see, we don't have a steering wheel. And in order to move the car, we're gonna have to figure something out. So I'm gonna try to steer it with a ratchet. I think it might work. Cayman's officially out of the garage. His wife can now park in there. But this thing looks like a monster truck without the motor in it. Check this out. Man, look at that wheel gap. Perfect fitment. One issue when we did this, there's a brace that ties the two rear suspension points together and keeps the toe and caster and camber and all that within spec. Well, that brace has to come off to pull the transmission and everything out and we left it off. We didn't think anything of it. So as we're moving the car, all of a sudden we start to get this crazy tow out. It was way worse than this. It was, it was quite a bit worse on both sides and the car didn't want to roll anymore. And anyway, so if you're doing this at home, make sure that you put that brace back on. We're gonna show you the shop next, give you a little sneak peek of that. We're still not quite ready to move in. The old tenant's still in there, uh, but we wanted to show it to you and I just wanna see it again because I'm real excited. So here we are in our new shop, which still isn't ours yet, as you can see with all of the stuff around us. Uh, the landlord's still got two cars here. That one is a fully restored 67 Shelby GT500. I mean, I can lift it up just a just little bit. Just a little bit. 
Eleanor. It's pretty amazing. What we have envisioned here is couch, TV, all that good stuff. Uh, here, our little hangout spot. We're gonna do toolboxes and workbenches here. We are just gonna have this area to store cars, which is gonna be really nice. Uh, once this room's cleaned up, this will be where we build engines. Probably one at a time, because I don't think we can fit two. The lighting in here right now is horrific because we haven't figured out how to turn the big lights on yet, but we will have my car here and Zach's car over there, potentially with a lift, and we'll have plenty of room finally to have those projects going on at the same time. Hopefully we're in here soon and we'll do the teardown of the Cayman engine and We'll get rocking on the 944. All right, guys, so that's it. You've seen the shop. I hope you're as excited about it as we are. Which is pretty excited. Very excited. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you.